Welcome to Sailing Stories. I'm your host, Jerome Morand, aboard Mighty Sparrow. Today, we're going to get into the single creepy moment that I've ever experienced in my life. Supernatural. I don't know what it was, but it was definitely terrifying, and uh, that's what I'm going to share with you today. So, back in 2013, 2014, I was working down in the Caribbean at a resort, and it's in the British Virgin Islands. And one of the things that we used to like to do, sort of to blow off steam after work and stuff and into the night, was we would take my little Boston whaler, me and my staff, and we'd go off to some of these beaches, have a few beers, maybe have a bonfire, mostly just listen to music and swim and all that. The Caribbean's perfect for that because it's warm, the water's warm, and the stars are out, and it's absolutely stunning and beautiful and no explanation needed. So we had been doing this for a couple of hours, I have the day off the next day, and I went back and dropped all the rest of my staff off, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go out and uh, do a little alone time on a beach and just hang out. This is something I had done plenty of times before, no big deal, I've uh, just had my two Bluetooth speakers, a couple more beers, and I was just going to head right out, so that's what I did, and I went to this one little tiny beach that has an old decrepit beach bar on it. The place opens up every once in a while, but for the most part, it's completely empty. And it's on an island that's all national park, so it's the only thing on the island. And I cruise over there, it's probably about 1, 1 1.30 in the morning, and I pull my Boston Whaler up on the beach, and I proceed to go up, just sitting there, I put one Bluetooth speaker over here, another one over here, and I sit down to just kick back and relax. Now this particular beach is known in that area to be sort of a haunted place. The locals basically say that there's jumbies that live there, which means there's ghosts, there's spirits. And I hadn't really given it much thought. The place never really creeped me out. And I had been there plenty of times before by myself at night, just cruising around and all that. So it wasn't really a big deal. I didn't think anything of it. Plus I'd had a couple of beers and at this point, I didn't really care about much of anything. Meanwhile, I go and I sit on the beach and not 20 or 30 seconds go by. And all of a sudden, the two Bluetooth speakers, which always work really well, start clicking in and out. Plump, plump, plump. This side, that side, this side, that side. And I'm kind of like looking at them. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, whoo, 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 it's like... Something is getting in between me and the speakers. That sound where if somebody puts their hand right in front of your ear and moves it back and forth. That's the feeling or the sound or sense that I got. And instantly, every single hair on my body stood on end. Goosebumps. I got a complete chill all the way down my spine. And an overwhelming feeling that there is something right on top of me that wants me not to be there. And so without even a second's hesitation, I grab both Bluetooth speakers, throw them in the boat, push the boat off of the beach, and now I'm just slowly sort of drifting away trying to make sense of what the heck just was happening. And I'm still feeling that overwhelming, just awful feel right now. I've got goosebumps just thinking about this story. And again, it's just me. It's dark. I'm slowly drifting away from this, from this beach. And once I get about 50 or 100 feet away, I'm looking back and it's all dark. There's no lights. All I'm seeing is just the outline of the buildings and then all these palm trees. And everything is eerily just still and quiet. And one thing about the Caribbean, especially in sort of the wintertime is, is when this was, it's always windy. It is windy day and night. It's blowing. The palm trees are always moving. You've got the wind noise and the waves. And when I'm sitting there looking at this scene, it is perfectly still. And then just a few seconds later after that, boom, all of a sudden it was like a light switch went off, a dome got lifted or something, but suddenly the wind hits, the palm trees are swaying again, and all is back to normal. My, the, the chill that I had been feeling is gone, and suddenly I feel a whole lot better. And ever since then, I, one, have never been back to that beach by myself at night. I was even afraid to go to some of the other beaches that are around on that island, but slowly but surely, in the months to follow, I was able to uh, start going back 
to other beaches and have little bonfires and all that, which was which was pretty nice. But it was definitely super spooky. And it's the only time in my life I've ever felt anything close to a supernatural experience. But without a doubt, I felt the exact feeling of something wants me to get away from this area right now. So that's my story, and thank you guys very much for listening. Appreciate it, and more to come.